اللهم صل على محمد يا رب صل عليه وسلم اللهم صل على محمد يا رب Jesus Christ is not God for me God was only Allah and i believe allah never married so no son for allah so i preached there that jesus is not god then somebody asked me who is jesus from the crowd maybe a muslim but he asked me who is jesus i was preaching he is not god but the question who is he to know who is he i read the entire quran once again 114 chapters 6666 verses in quran when i read it the name of prophet muhammad i found in quran four places but the name of jesus i found 25 places there itself i was little confused why quran giving more preference for jesus laqad kafara alladhina qalu inna allah huwa almasih ibn maryam wa qala almasih ya bani israil a'budullaha rabbi wa rabbakum انه من يشرك بالله فقد حرم الله عليه الجنه وماواه النار وما للظالمين من انصار بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاه والسلام على رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم in the name of Allah the most gracious the most merciful and peace and blessings be upon prophet Muhammad Dear brothers and sisters, dear viewers, dear people of knowledge, dear people who have been given intellect from God the Almighty, I want to bring to you, to your attention today, a very important video that's been spread out by missionaries around India and throughout the globe actually. It's been it's gone viral on WhatsApp and YouTube. And that is the video of Mary Joseph um, of a series called Changing Tracks. And it is important that people understand what is behind this video it is important to muslims specifically and i'm addressing this to muslims and non-muslims muslims to understand the strength of their faith and to see that such attacks are futile they're nothing and non-muslims also to see what kind of attacks do their champions have against islam and that islam stands strong because it is the truth due to the fact that it's not easy to answer so many allegations in such a short time i will make the strongest points visible and based on that the rational viewer which is you the person who god gave intellect inshallah bi'ithnillah with the will of allah will see who this mario really is and what he's trying to achieve so please open up your minds open up your hearts i'll not all take all the arguments in order and i have to be very blunt and strong i'm not trying to insult him but i have to be blunt and strong so people can uh, make you know so we can make a statement and people to see and to learn that god does not like those who lie Okay so I'm making my argument on a few points but the most important point is for you to go and check for you to go and read for you to go and take what Mario is saying what I'm saying and check it so that is going back to the Quran Okay point number 1 it would be enough for us to look at his allegation that verse 50 uh, that chapter 50 verse 23 mentioned the ascension of Mary he is a catholic okay he wants to push that into people he wants to talk about the divinity of Mary and so on I challenge anyone to check uh, chapter 50 verse 23 it does not talk about that there's no such verse and i challenge this arabic college for 10 year student to go and see what he cites and for you to go and see what he cites he also says this, that mary is born with no original sin again we challenge him to show where in the quran it actually says that where does it say that he was born that he was born with no original sin nowhere it says that the mother of Uh, Mary made a prayer for her and her progeny to be protected from Satan. Okay, this is the di- big difference. He wants to push original sin. Remember, he is Catholic, he is Christian. The fact that Mary is second point. The fact that Mary is mentioned and she's the only woman to be mentioned by name in the Quran. He says that's something amazing. It shows something. It po- it moved them. Well, it is a point for the Quran, not against the Quran. That's a beautiful thing that the Quran is the only book that mentions Mary by you know, and the only woman that is mentioned by name in the Quran is Mary to show her high status. And this is a point for the Quran, not against the Quran. The Bible does not have a chapter named Mary. So according to the logic of Mary, oh, Quran mentions Mary as the only woman. Quran has chapter by the name of Mary. Bible does not. Bible mention. other women okay other women are named by name so the quran is better than the bible according to mary logic this is his logic point number 3 he says jesus invention more than muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam peace be upon them both 
And this shows that somehow, you know, Jesus is, is better than Muhammad. Oh, really? Let's use again this mirror logic. Jesus is his logic. Jesus is mentioned in the Quran 29 times. I challenge everyone to go and check. 29 plus time. Muhammad is mentioned about four times. Moses, however, is mentioned 136 times by name or within the context. So according to mere logic, uh, based, you know, all Christians and Muslims should be Jews, <laughs> according to his logic, right? Because Moses is mentioned more. He's a prophet of, of, the, of the Jews, so we should all, you know, go towards Moses. Moses is better than all of them. Logic fail. It is a fail. We have to understand that. Number four, going to one of his initial points, he was asked about someone in the audience. Who is Jesus? He says that he had to read the Quran again. Oh, really? So he never read it? Because if he did 10 years in Arabic college, where is his knowledge? If he did 10 years of Quranic studies, or he was an imam, as he says, where is his knowledge? If you ask my little daughter, Maryam, who is Jesus? She will answer to you in a second because she knows that the Quran says, Jesus says, Inni Abdullahi, I am the servant of Allah. He says that in the Quran. Check Surah, read please. Please read Surah number three. Pre, please read uh, chapter number three. Read chapter number 19. Just read chapter uh, far, five and see, subhanAllah, what does Allah and what does Jesus say in the Quran? It's very important. He says, I'm the servant of Allah. He's a prophet. But Mary never read the Quran. It shows. He flaunts himself to be an ex-imam. He says he read 6,666 verses of the Quran. Note here that he's trying to make a subtle link between Quran verses, the numbers, and the number of the beast, which is 666. There's no such thing. I challenge that there's no such thing as 6666 verses of the Quran, or 6,666 verses of the Quran. The Quran actually has 6,200 plus verses, and the deception is obvious from Mary. He now, cites... Three, chapter 3, verse 45 to 55, says, he says there's 10 points about Jesus. Now pay attention because, uh, you know, he thinks we will not read. <laughs> the answers, the refutations to these points are in the same verses he quotes. That's the funny thing. But again, he thinks you don't have the brain. He thinks you're not intellectual enough to go and actually pick up the book and read it. So I reiterate again, read the Quran. Go back to these points that he's saying. Check it because you're being lied to. He thinks, so he says that Jesus is, Kalimatullah, Ruhullah. We say, yes, okay, he is. But what is the meaning? If Mario says he is the boss, does that mean everyone understands that he is the boss, like the ultimate boss? This is the mistake or deliberation or deliberate distortion of the Christians. They take words to mean that they want to, when they want to, without looking at the context, without understanding the meaning of certain words can be used as titles. So Jesus is called the Son of God. Even though there are many other sons of God in the Bible, they always insist that Jesus is the Son of God, the begotten Son of God. He is God as divine as this suits their agenda. He wants to use, you know, this whole soul Mary logic, I call it Mary logic because this is his own logic, again to show that Jesus is God and divine. He says if God calls Jesus Spirit of God and Word of God, well, well, Jesus is God. The same verses he quotes have the answer and clarification to what does it mean? I mean, if people say things. If someone comes and says, I am God, well, what do you mean? 351 says, Indeed, Allah is my Lord and your Lord, so worship Him. In Allah Rabbi wa Rabbukum fa'buduhu. Okay? Indeed, Allah is my Lord and your Lord, so worship Him. This is the straight path, he says. So the verses that he quotes is giving you the answer. He said, Jesus is God, then Jesus by his own tongue, Mario, and he quotes the verse, but the verse says, indeed Allah, so Jesus is saying, indeed Allah is my Lord and our Lord, and your Lord, so worship him, this is a straight path. So Mary says something that Jesus says, but Jesus actually says in the Quran that there's only one God, he's his Lord, and all our Lord, so let's worship him, this is a straight path. Got it? 351, check it please. Not just that, verse 47 says, Allah creates what he wills. So when Maryam asks, how will she have Jesus if no man touched her? Mary, Maryam is asking that in verse 47. Check verse 47. Allah says he creates what he creates. He creates what he wills. So wait a second. Jesus is created? Yes, exactly. That's what the Quran says. He is a human being. He is a prophet. But Mary is saying, no, he's not reading the Quran. Well, he doesn't want to read the Quran. But he wants to use it to try to put some logic to twist and confuse the people, insulting you, thinking that you have no intellect and no brain to go and check. Allah says... He creates what he was. Thanks for telling us the lie and giving us the proof, Mario, because it is a lie. Another Mary logic uh, you know, fail. Point number eight, he says, Jesus is kalimatullah. He makes a grand finale, a huge finale in the end of the vis in his video by saying that Jesus is the word and the word is creator. Jesus is creator. You know, pay attention 
O person of intellect, pay attention because it's very important. It is this Kalimatullah, it is a name given to Jesus, a title by Allah to show his high status and to actually refute the wrong Christian polytheistic understanding of what they call the Logos. Actually, the Quran says, Kalimatuhu al ila Maryam. Waruhu minhu. He is the word that he has casted upon Maryam. He is the one who sent it with the angels and the angel put it inside of her. He is the word of Allah as in he is the prophet. His word which he casted upon Mary and his spirit from him. Not his spirit, not the spirit of Allah or like Allah gave his spirit as the Christians want to understand with their twisted Trinitarian understanding. The Quranic verses are very clear. He says he is a word from him, a spirit from him. It's a word that he casted upon Maryam. He is not the word, is the creator or anything like that. Billah. He is a word from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He is a spirit from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, from him, not him, not of him or him. Pay attention. People, they like to play with this, with the words. They like to play with semantics. They like to twist words. We find it over and over again in their speeches, in their big, big amphitheaters and big, you know, mega churches. They like to inspire supposed, supposed people, but they inspire them with deception. And you need to pay attention because you don't want to be deceived. So Mr. Arabic College does not know Arabic, actually, because it will be, it's very clear when you read it. Read 4171. Read it, please. It says, O people of the scripture, do not commit excess in your religion or say about God except the truth, Mario. The truth, Mario. The truth will set you free. If you lie, you will deceive people. People will know. So let's read. That's the whole point. I'm saying read. The truth will set your friend uh, free. The Messiah, continue the verses. 4171. The Messiah, Jesus, son of Mary, was only a messenger of God. Read, Mario, read. You know the first word that was revealed in the Quran, Iqra? It says read. I don't think you, you've got it. It says do not say three. Again, continuing the verse. Don't say three. Desist. Need I say more? Need I refute Mario more? O people of intellect. O people of knowledge. O people who see and hear and can understand. Do you not see these people decept deceiving you? Isa al-Masih, he says, well, Jesus spoke in the cradle. Uh, the Bible does not say that. Is that a big point for that Jesus? Yes, Quran says that, of course. The Bible doesn't. So, according to his logic, Quran says that. So, Quran is better than Bible, according to his logic. Because the Quran says that Jesus spoke in the cradle. There's no such thing in, in the Bible, in the Gospels. Beautiful. We know this is the miracle of Jesus. Jesus gave, gave life and healed people and blind, the blind and the lepers. Yes, Quran says that. 349, chapter 3, verse 49. But it was by the will of God. Read the Quran. He says, Bi idnillah, by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He is the one who's given him the power. You know, the Quran says that. The Bible says something like that too. He says, by myself I can do nothing. I judge only as I hear and my judgment is just. By myself I can do nothing? So he's not God supposing to the Bible? Of course he's not, people. Wake up. Of course he's not. So let's give him a taste of their own medicine. He says, For I seek not to please myself by him, but him who sent me. Who? God. This is John 5.30. A taste of your own medicine. A taste of your own logic. So Quran says Jesus does only what Allah tells him. So here you go. Here's the logic. Quran says Jesus does only what Allah tells him. Bible says Jesus does only what God sent him to do. Therefore, Christians should all be Muslims. Mary logic. Got it? Did Mary go to our Arabic college? Well, well, we are very apprehensive to believe that. We, we have conservation, you know, we, we're a bit reserved to believe that. It might have been some street Arabic college that prepares someone to come to the GCC and speak stuff like, you know, sawa sawa, uh, same same, iji uh, nafar, mafi mushkila, but not Arabic of the Quran. I'm sorry, not Arabic of the Quran. Now let's end this shameless argument, okay, that has been spreading like fire over YouTube and, and WhatsApp. He says he went to his Arabic teacher who taught him for 10 years. Well, who is he? We'd like to know his name. I would like to know... Who is this Arabic teacher? He asked, how was the word created? Ah, pay attention now. How was the word created? And the teacher answered, through the word. Actually, God says, he doesn't say that. He says, God says, Kun fayakun. He said it and it happened. Basically, he says, Kun fayakun. This is how Allah created. Ida arad Allahu. And if Allah wants to do something, he says, Kun fayakun. He spoke, of course. Allah speaks. Beautiful, amazing. Now pay attention because this is mere logic. It's important. Here he refutes himself. He asks, so if the word, um, is the word creator or a creation? This is the grand finale that he uses. The big bang at the end where he shocks everyone with mere logic. This is the weakest point as well. This is where he says, you know, then all Muslims must be Christian. 
It shows he did not bother to read the Quran. I'm emphasizing this over and over again. It shows he did not attend Arabic college, except Sawasawa Nafarat Arabic college. If Mario means the word as he puts it to mean, Kalima to mean who? Or Kalima to Allah as Jesus, the word is created. Because this is Jesus, i.e. he is created. This is Jesus, the person, the person who walked, who went to the bathroom, the person who slept, the person who needed food. He is created. We specify, we make sure the truth of the word and the meaning is clear. And the Quran is very clear about that. Over and over again. But Maria does not read and he also thinks you will not read. If Mario means the word of Allah as Allah said it, kun fayakun, well, Allah is eternal and so are his words. And he created everything by saying, kun fayakun, his word is not Jesus. Come, Kibar Romani, you mean to say, well, Mary lied to us? Well, maybe, but all I can say is he did not read, okay? He did not read. Mary says, Jesus is the word of Allah. Let's pay attention. He says, well, Jesus is the word of Allah. Allah created the world through the word. So let's look at the logic. Jesus equals word. Word equals creator, therefore Jesus equals creator, all Muslims should be Christians. Wow, excellent logic. Now let's put that to the test. The Quran says, indeed, the example of Jesus to Allah is like that of Adam. He created him from dust and he said to him, be, kun, kun fayakun. Okay, he said to him, be, and he was. Uh, chapter 3, verse 59. Please read, please go and read. Please go, chapter 3, verse 59. Created who? Created, created. Yes, Mario, Jesus was created. Can it be more clear? Indeed, the example of Jesus to Allah is like that of Adam. He created him from dust and he said to him, be, and he was. Mary keeps citing the Quran as proof and authority. It's nothing new. Christians have tried to convince Muslims for a long time that the Quran says Jesus is God. It's all over. So Mary should have no problem to believe that the Quran says Allah created Jesus. It's cre He's created. Jesus and Adam are created. Um, Khalaqahu, he created, Khalaqahu, created him, i.e. Jesus, created him from dust, yes, Mario, dust, Jesus was created from dust, just like Adam, just like you, like everyone else, he is a human being, he has flesh, and he will return back to this earth, and he will die, and he will go back to the earth, alhamdulillah, he is our prophet, and we love him, he was made, he was created, but because of having no father, to this, he was given the title of word. That does not mean that there are no other words of Allah. He was given this title. He is the title of the word of God. The prophets were words of Allah, all prophets, as they carried his words. They spoke in God's name. God had many prophets as friends, for example. But Ibrahim, Abraham was given, or he was called the title of friend. But Muhammad was also given the title of friend. He was also called friend of Allah. These are titles. Now, it doesn't mean they're exclusive. That only them two are friends of Allah. No one else is the friend of Allah. No, they are given that. These were titles. It's so beautiful. We love Jesus. We bear witness that he is our prophet, that he is called the word of God. Yes. Now let us use Mayor's logic to end this because this is very important. Hear it. My question, whether the word of God is creator or creation. Quran says Jesus is word of God. If my teacher said the word of God is creator, which means Jesus is creator, then the Muslims must become Christian. Jesus is like Adam. Pay attention, please. Jesus is word, according to Mayor. Word is divine, according to Mary. If Jesus equals or is like Adam, then Adam is word, then Adam is divine. Is Mary ready to accept that Adam is divine? Because he's using the Quran to use the authority. We said that the example of Jesus to Allah is like that of Adam. They're the same. They're the same. 359. So according to Mary logic, again, Jesus is like Adam. Jesus is the word. Word is divine. Jesus is like Adam. Adam is word, Adam is divine. This is Mary logic, not mind logic. Is Mary ready to accept that? We would like him to respond to that. Okay, so here's the last logic. And this is the logic of the Quran. Pay attention. Allah created Adam. Jesus is like Adam. Jesus is created. Jesus is the word of Allah. Adam is the word of Allah. Both were prophets and were, both were words of Allah like all prophets. Created by Allah, by Allah saying be and they were. All Christians should be Muslims. Thank you so much. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. All people of intellect, pay attention that people will not fool you.